Nom, 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 nom. Good morning, home biscuits. It is a Monday, December 5th, and I dropped off Mr. CJ at school. And now I'm going to have breakfast. And I made myself, as you just saw, some toast with vegan butter and some egg whites with bell pepper, tomato, and onion. Yummy! Okay, let's chat. What just happened? So a lot of you know that um, if you've been watching me, you may know that I always say like, oh, I'm involved in school, I'm involved in this, and I actually that's part of the reason, a huge factor as to why I actually stopped vlogging and kind of put my weight loss to the side. Um, I tried to keep up with it for a little bit and then it just got too crazy and then the stuff that I film I mean, I could film the other stuff like with my friends and stuff that I would travel up north to Sacramento and everything but the reality is that um, It was a huge factor as to why I stopped doing a lot of these videos because the involvement and the volunteer work that went with it is a lot <laughs> Um, and I, oh God, I didn't think I was going to get emotional. I think I'm getting a little emotional because I'm going to miss a few factors, a few things that I did within that organization. Um, and I'm going to miss some of the friendships. I met like five people that really, I really, really like love them. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I wish you lived a little closer to me. We would be best friends um but i think they're wonderful and i think i'm gonna miss them but i think that if the friendship was real we're still gonna keep in touch and make an effort to you know just be in touch and whenever we're in the vicinity we'll probably try to get together that's one um two there was two parts to that organization that i um dealt with and one was at the statewide level and the second one was at the regional level and at the regional level i dealt with 14 college campuses and ultimately built some friendships through that. And my job was just to help support and development. I met with a lot of administrators and try to make change, try to do things um, that administration was doing wrong to students and try to correct it. That part I am probably gonna miss the most. Um, it was the most time consuming as well, but it I actually, it was one of the things that was like that could kind of stress. Now at the statewide level, that was a little different story. Um, there's a lot that I can't say, but let's just say that it just involved way too much trauma and it's at a point where that is outweighing the good of it. And I just feel like I want to do things that make me happy and I want to make change. And if I'm going to, and if I want to make change, I want the good kind of stress where I get home and I'm working hard and I volunteer hours, but I'm, I'm creating a change. Like there's so many things that I could do and get involved with locally. And I haven't because of that commitment that I have, because I don't like doing 1500 projects and nothing gets done. Like I like to commit. And that is a huge thing that I want to commit. But these past, I would say this past month, especially it was like progressively getting worse, but, but I just was like, keep on fighting. You're not a quitter. Um, and even more than that, you know, because I talked to my sister and she's like, it's not about being a quitter. It's just that, you know, if, if it's not for you, then it's not for you. But I just was like, give it more chance. That's part of it is getting through that hurdle. Right. And 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 all that good stuff. Um, But it's just progressively getting worse. And for me, it got to the point where I started hating it. It wasn't even stress anymore. It was to the point where I hated. I hated calling into meetings. I hated doing the reports. And these are things that I enjoyed doing because I could show how much work my region was doing. But I just can't deal with the people statewide anymore. Like these students are irresponsible and they got us in a lot of trouble. And I kept getting scolded for things that I didn't do, had nothing to do with, that I'm just... Like there's other ways that I can make change and um, I was sacrificing time with my son. I would go to Sacramento once a month. I did a lot of a lot of sacrifice and I knew that that was going in. So I'm not complaining about that, but I, I'm not justifying it. I'm not justifying it. If I could justify that to my son, then OK, but I'm not. I'm coming back stressed out. I'm coming back upset. I'm coming back. Like we're wasting our time, it's taking away, we're not getting things accomplished, we're behind. And I just, I don't wanna be involved with an organization like that. So I have officially resigned for the position that I had. It was a volunteer position. So it's not like I'm, you know, losing out on money, but it wasn't about that from the get go. Um, so 
I just feel like I know you all probably have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, nor don't know anything, but I feel like it's, it's, it kind of weighed heavy on me, so I wanted to share it with you just cause, so you know where my um, state of mind is and kind of where I'm at and also kind of give you a little bit of background as to why I did disappear for such a long time because I've been working really, really hard for this organization and um, I guess now I'm just going to focus more on on me and not just necessarily this channel, my beauty channel, but also there's another organization that is a legit nonprofit organization that makes changes that goes into the community and you actually work with people from the community. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to be alongside people that were like, oh my gosh, we want to make change for community, California community college students and make a difference and this and that. And I found myself with dealing with nothing but dramatic people and I just can't anymore. So that was, um, the first thing. The second thing I want to talk about, and I wasn't really sure when or what I was going to talk about, was the fact that I, and the reason why is because that's where I'm going to go right now, um, and that's regarding public assistance. And yes, I do receive public assistance, and um, it's part of my life, so I feel like if, I know I have the choice on what I want to share and what I don't want to share, but I'm also very real, and I feel like I have to kind of like share that part of me because there's other people that might be ashamed of it and I, I'm not ashamed of it and publicly in my life so why should I be ashamed of it here that's kind of my thought process behind it Ooh, girl my hand is hurting okay <laughs> I had to stretch my hand out because it was hurting quite a bit but um yes I was as I was saying um I'm not ashamed of it at school I should promote it even within that organization about college campuses and students who receive um what in California what we call Cal works um, you know, I'm just like, it's, it doesn't define who you are. I'm a full-time student. I also still work part-time. So I am following everything that I need to, to get through this rough step in my life. And I'm doing what I have to do for my child. So I really wanted to share that out there. And, um, more than anything, not really just to tell you my business, but just for more or less, just to let you know that if you are watching and you are in public assistance and I get what it's like to be there at the beginning, like I fell into a little bit of a depression, um, just, you know, just not kind of moping around just because I've always worked my entire life. So it was hard for me, but just know that, you know, take advantage of the resources. I am very grateful and very blessed and I don't allow anyone to tell me, you know, oh, you're a sucky person or, oh, you're on welfare, therefore you are X, Y, and Z. No, I define myself and um, that is just something that I go through and I'm very proud to say that I do receive public assistance, also known as welfare, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to demean me, I don't care, it doesn't bother me and I hope that you take that empowerment and make something of yourself, go to school, take advantage of it, provide for your children, do what you have to do because no one is in your shoes and oh god I'm getting emotional. It makes me angry when people do that to other people and I hate it. I hate it. I hate it because I see so many people, so many students at school, you know, stop going to school because of that. And that's, again, it kind of is tied in with why I started with the Privileged Student Organization because I wanted to fight against that. Um, but I know I still can in other ways, um, especially in local government. Um, the fight still goes on. And don't be ashamed of what you get from the government or don't get from the government, use it. Take advantage of it, wear it proudly because you're going to make a difference and you're not just at home and you're bettering yourself. And don't allow anyone to take that from you. So anyways, I'm going to get going because now I'm going to go fight with these people because I don't have my benefits in my account. <laughs> I'll see you. Hey, so it's way past my lunch time. <laughs> Um, I, uh, just got back from the errands that I had to run and had to take care of, you know, at the office. I'm just going to make myself some chicken tacos, but I really don't have anything. Um, I have cheese. I can put some cheese, but I don't think it's good anymore. So I'm not even going to bother with it. Um, I have onion and tomato. So I think I'm just going to top it with that. I have some avocados, but I don't think they're good anymore. Uh, um, it's okay. I'm actually, um, 
glad I went through my stuff and there's my seasoned chicken. I just put salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. And then I'm gonna put some of this quinoa spread, piquillo pepper, something. It says it's great for chicken, fish, come on, chicken, fish, or salads. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit on there and then grill it and then add some more to cook it. And that should be fine, I don't care. Um, and then just, yeah, some corn tortillas. Uh, because I'm trying to limit my carb intake. I'm trying to say is reduce my carb intake. I don't wanna say limit because then I feel like when you limit yourself is when you want things the most. So I'm just trying to reduce it. So, you know, just the typical going back to like, you know, instead of eating 1500 flour tortillas, I'm gonna eat 500 instead. You know what I mean? That kind of reduce. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, I don't feel like really doing anything else. I'm kind of just really hungry and just want to get something in my system before I like spaz out. I just put the camera down and was like, yeah, I'm going to eat this chicken. And then I had the biggest fail of life. Look at it. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? It's got a little quinoa. I was like, mmm, let's go season it and this and that. And I seriously, this jar has never been opened. The date is, where is it? I Best by March 24, 2018. This jar has never been open. I mean, it's been in there for like three months, but. So I quickly grab it, right? Open it, start spreading it because I'm starving. And then I put the cap down. And then I, after I was done, this is what I noticed on the cap. And was like, what the hell? It doesn't smell bad, but it start, uh-uh, that's mold. No, no. <laughs> oh, my chicken. I'm gonna see if I can defrost my other chicken, but I just, I just, I just wasted this chicken. I don't know. I'm not, what do you, can I wash it? Like, is that a thing? Can I cleanse it of everything I just spread? No, I'm not gonna take that risk. So, oh, <laughs> why do you do this to me? <laughs> I was looking forward to some chicken tacos. <laughs> um. I don't even know if I can, I have more chicken, but I'm gonna try and see if I can defrost it. You know what, I have fish, but I don't really want fish tacos. Like I wasn't, that's not, like I'd been thinking about these tacos, like, oh, my chicken is thawed out. I'm gonna make some strips and I'm gonna just good old seasoned chicken tacos. <sighs> no, these are breast fillets, which I still have to chop them up. I'm gonna still put them down here. I think I'm just gonna have tuna then because tuna sandwich it is. I'm so mad, I'm so mad. Yes, it is. Mm, it's Lolo, my mommy. And I'm Zenbon Zakura, Kageyoshi. <laughs> so we are going where? Chipotle. 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 There's three different ways of saying Chipotle. What are you doing? No! Come on. Okay, thank you. Are you Groot? Mm -hmm. You're Groot? Mm -hmm. You are Groot? I am Groot. No, you're, you're not Groot. supposed to touch Wait. me. Wait, is that better? I am Groot. Mm -hmm. I am Groot. Mm -hmm. The flash is on. That's much better, huh? No, you're not supposed to touch the button. This is my mom. 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 That is so annoying. What? What are you doing? Hi. back from having dinner. I'm gonna end today's vlog here because I talked to y'all for like 10 minutes and I definitely don't wanna bore you in today's video. And the next thing we're gonna do is Mr. CJ is gonna do homework and um, I'm just gonna edit today's vlog and just get ready for tomorrow. Did you figure out when the performance is? He's trying to figure out when his winter performance is. Apparently he got this note from his teacher that he needs to wear a black shirt and a Clifford scarf and I was supposed to turn it in. 
by today, December 5th, and he just told me when I picked him up today from school. So I told him that as part of my rule that I was not going to make his emergencies, my stress, or however that saying goes, um, um, his procrastination, my emergency. That's I think that's how it's said. I don't know. Something like that. But either way, I'm just not. I told him if you would have given it to me last week, I would have had all weekend. And I had a pretty slow weekend. Y'all know. And I could have gone to the store and got one. But no, he did not. So did you figure it out? Tomorrow? No, wait, the fifth? No. Tomorrow's the sixth. I don't know. So that's where we're at, and um, just wanted to say thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet or to my beauty channel, what are you waiting for? Um, anyways, thank you for watching again, and thank you for your lovely comments, and I will see you all on my next video. Bye! Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo. And don't forget to subscribe.